Hey guys, it's Brandon with the Blue Crew here at Cobalt Banker Legacy, and in today's Flex MLS tips and tricks, we're gonna talk about listing activity and how to send listing activity reports to your sellers or your clients. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the search menu and we're gonna go down to my listings to take a look at all of our current active and pending listings. So it comes back in the list view and you see all the listings here. Now, if you wanna go and get the listing activity, there's always gonna be an arrow next to the MLS number on any listing that is yours. So if I click the arrow next to it, the item that we're interested in right now is this last option, which is listing activity. So when I click on listing activity, it takes you to a screen where you can see activity for and it has the address listed at the top. You have the ability to print, you have the ability to email, you actually also have the ability to set auto emails of this report so they're automatically delivered to your seller's email address. So if I click on auto email, it asks me to insert a contact. Now, if you have already input your seller as a contact inside of the Flex MLS system, you can simply click in this box and you can see the whole list of all of your contacts shows up here. Or you can start typing their name and it will eliminate and alleviate any of the uh, non-matching uh, contacts. If for whatever reason your contact is not in here or you have not loaded your client as a contact, you can click on this add contact, put in their name and their email address and you can set it up that way. But for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab somebody here. And once you select them, their name shows up, then you can choose the frequency. How often do you want them to get this report via email? Weekly or monthly? So if I say weekly, I can choose what day of the week this report goes, and I can also use the CC button so that I, the agent, get a copy of this report as well. You can add more than one contact, so if you have a husband and a wife as a seller and both of them want to see these reports, you would just go in and make sure to add um, the husband as an individual contact as well as the wife. And then once you're done, you just hit save. Now, let's look at the report. So at the top, the date range, you can select the date range. Now keep in mind, if you do auto emails, it's only going to show the range from when the last email went, okay? So if you have it set up to go weekly, it's only gonna show the last week's view when it sends them the email report. So here is the picture of the property, some property details on the right, and now this box, where people are viewing this listing. This is the number of agents inside of Flex MLS that have taken a look at this listing. Portal, this is the number of people or agents who have clients that have a portal that it is matching the criteria and is showing inside of their portal. The Flex MLS IDX is anybody who has done a search on a website that has an IDX Flex MLS search. So an example of that would be the Greater Albuquerque Association of Realtors website has a public search that is tied to Flex MLS, and you can see nine people have viewed this property. Two people have actually emailed this listing to one of their clients, okay? So that's important. Now over on the right, it shows you inside the portal how people have it classified. So zero agents have recommended this to a client. One person has it marked as one of their favorites two people have it marked as a possibility, and two people have it marked as rejected. Now, again, you can see those in graphical form down here. So here's just the numeric value. Down below is the pie graphs of each of those. Then you can see what actions have been taken, uh, been taken by people looking at this listing. Did they share it? Did they request a showing? Did they click the contact me box and so forth? And then you can see that in graphical representation. The next part is kind of nice as well because people who liked this listing, meaning they put it into a favorite category or in a possible category in their portal, this will show you the other listings that they are looking at and have considered um, once they looked at your property. Down below, this is just the search trends. So anybody who looked at your listing, these are some of the other listings that they've been looking at as well. This can be very effective in getting you price reductions or at least keeping you in tune with what your competition is. Because sometimes you might be in an area and it's harder to identify what we're competing against. This will give you a clear cut image as to what other listings people are considering um, when they're doing the search. So I hope this helps you. Uh, again, utilize the print email function, but I think the auto email function will be one that most of you use. If you have any questions, like always, feel free to email us at bluecrewhelp at gmail.com and we hope that you'll tune in to some of our further tutorials.